Hello, this is Chris Marabella with Marabella Commercial Finance. It's uh, 2013. I'm here at the Recon ICSC event with my friend Alan Fruitman, who we've financed several of his Walgreens, O'Reilly's, uh, many other transactions. And I have a couple questions for Alan. Since he's uh, on the ground doing these net lease deals, uh, Alan, what do you see at this time as far as inventory in the net lease market? Are you seeing more? Are you seeing less? Uh, do you have off-market deals for 1031 buyers that are, that are watching this video right now on YouTube? I'm seeing enough. I see enough inventory where the buyers will have good choices of what properties they can buy. There's not an abundance of properties, there's not a shortage of properties, but there's enough. There's enough quality properties uh, for the buyers, but the buyers have to move quickly because good properties sell quickly. So they're selling pretty quick. Uh, what do you, as far as like due diligence and financing contingency, what should a buyer uh, put into a contract where the seller is going to take the offer seriously? It's still reasonable if they're trying to get financing. Yes. When, when you purchase a property, the seller wants two things. The seller wants highest price, shortest contingency period. When you buy a property, the buyer wants lowest price, longest contingency period. So it's a little bit of an arm wrestling match between a buyer and a seller. And normally, you have to talk to Chris, he knows this very well. If you can get 60 days, you're doing very well. If you get 45, it's probably acceptable and maybe a happy medium for buyer and seller. The danger point is when a seller tries to demand a period shorter than 45 days, and that's where a buyer can get himself or herself in trouble. Yeah, I always recommend try to get a commitment if the deal does get approved within that due diligence financing contingency period so that uh, the buyer doesn't get into a pickle situation where they go hard to the seller without a commitment and something comes up. Uh, before, before we go to the next question, yeah. the more prep work you do, Chris, the, more, the further you get into the loan application, the more you sign your contract, the more time you'll have during the contract. So doing your homework in advance is very important before day one of the contract. Do you think qualifying the deal is really important for 1031 buyers because they only have three shots at this if they're going on the three uh, property rule? So it's important that they kind of qualify environmental and other things on the deal so that they don't throw away one of their three or two or... You, we need to do the homework in advance. You need to make sure there's no known environmental problems. You need to work with Chris to have a lender selected and lined up before day one of your country. Both are very important. Now, one thing that I noticed being here in Vegas, I noticed that the economy is getting much better. I noticed there's a lot more shows. People are going to shows. So that tells me that the economy is getting a lot better. People have more money to spend. I know that housing starts, I think, at the, at the you know, the bottom of the market in 2009, they're like 500,000, and I think now it's like a million. So things are going up, the housing market is going up. How is, is there any direct correlation between housing and, and home developers and net lease? Is that a stimulating factor for the net lease market and why? Well, the housing market and the economy go hand in hand. Okay. So when home, cyclical, right? Right. So when home prices increase, when the stock market increases, consumer confidence increases, and investors come out of the woodwork. There's not only 1031 investors. There's people that just have cash, and they're looking for yield, and they're looking for a place to invest. You know what I was thinking, Alan, as as the home builders are building, they're going in and they're buying land, and maybe an older person owns that land, so they're thrown into a 1031 exchange, and the net lease is the perfect vehicle for them. They, they really don't know how to build, so they really can't build on that land. They can sell that land and then roll those monies into a net lease deal that is pretty much landlord friendly if it's completely triple net, right? Yes. People sell land, they sell apartment buildings, shopping centers, office buildings, any of you as multi-tenant or management intensive, those are our typical clients. They want to get out of high management, 
and get into passive income with long-term leases from high credit corporate tenants. Where are you staying here in Vegas? Are you, are you in the hotel? I'm staying at the Aria. At the Aria. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful real My wife and I were here on the weekend. Nice. Uh, had a great time, and now we're here to work. It's Have you learned time. anything, Alan, here being at the ICSC that you didn't know before? Um, Off-market deals? Uh, any tips that you could give 1031 buyers that you learned here at, uh, at ICSC 2013 in Las Vegas? Well, I have a whole stack of cards from developers that have off-market properties. So the advantage to my buyers is you'll see properties that are not listed. You'll see opportunities that the rest of the market doesn't know about. So it's been a very productive uh, recon conference. Chris can finance the properties, I can find them for you. It's, it's a wonderful team that, that Chris and I help them work together for our clients. Just so you know, Alan, right now we're doing a couple deals with you. We're doing a Walgreens and a CVS, and we're arranging a 10 year fixed rate loan, 30 year AM, four and a quarter, non recourse. Uh, we're also doing Dollar General deals. Uh, we would like to do more of the Coles, Home Depot. And I know those are credits that you would love to, to sell. Walmart, Express, yes. if you could get some of those listings. So, I sold one of those last year. Did you really? Those are good deals, right? You yes. got investment grade credit. And from what I understand is uh, if the tenant is triple B rated, the uh, probability of default is, is pretty minimal. It's zero, right? Well, nothing is zero. Nothing is zero. It's still a little bit of risk there. Right. If you're triple B minus or greater, standard or poor's, considers that above the floor of investment grade. So okay. anything triple B minus or greater puts you investment grade status. Um, and when you get to the banks, you can get to the A's and other you know, high credit standings. I, I always recommend have a good attorney. We have uh, Yvette Flores, Flores Mavic, that used to work at Walgreens. She's great to utilize to review the leases. Uh, also have a good CPA to you know look at all your tax ramifications we do it in that lease deal and uh, use Alan here if you're looking for someone that just specializes in these kind of properties um, how can someone contact you Alan if they're looking to do a deal my phone number 800-454-0015 my website 1031tax.com and if you'd like to contact me for financing or email me your specific deal so we can consider it and talk to our universal lenders, uh, we deal with CMBS lenders, banks, as well as life companies, you can contact me directly at 760-479-0800, our website, www.marmelafinance.com. You're probably watching this video. We have a lot of other videos. Um, Alan's website's really good. You can see all the properties that he's selling there. Um, thanks again, Alan, for taking the time. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the convention here in Vegas. Get over to the pool as well. Have a little fun. Don't just, you know what they say, it's not good to just do all business. you got to have a little fun, right? All right. That's why we're in Las Vegas. It's fun. It's work. It's uh, very productive here. Come, come see us next year. Come to Vegas and we'll treat you right. Yes. Thanks again. Last word. Uh, Chris, and I, Chris and I have uh, financed many properties together. He's financed them for my buyers. Um, he's very good. Single tenant, triple net lease properties is especially as is much special. Thanks again. Thanks, Chris. Have a good day. Thank you.